In this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy config changes and Salesforce apps from your Salesforce sandbox to production. My name is Stacy, and I'm from Chargeit. If you are a Salesforce admin or consultant who wants to learn about payments and be a superstar for your organization, then you are in the right place. And by the way, we've made a special checklist for you on 10 ways to make Salesforce payments safe, easy, and profitable. So check that link in the description below. So in our other Sandbox videos, we covered the basics of Salesforce Sandboxes and how to test payments and other integrations. In this video, I'm going to give you a few critically important things to consider when going live from a Sandbox to production. It is important to remember that licensing is totally different in Sandbox, especially for Salesforce App Exchange apps like Chargeit. In a Sandbox, there are no user licenses to assign because Sandboxes are set with a site license. All features are also active normally in a sandbox, whereas in production there may be features which have not been enabled or licensed. So a critical tip is to do some testing in production once you have installed your apps and deployed your change sets to production. Make sure that any licensing and user assignment is in place and that you have assigned user licenses to the users who will need them. Log in as a user, not just admin. When you are the Salesforce administrator, you can normally see all or most data in Salesforce and modify most everything too. Your users in Salesforce will have much lower visibility and access, very different read, write, and edit permissions. As part of your testing changes deployed from Sandbox to production, be sure to log in as a different user with different permissions in your production org to validate that changes made in Sandbox are working correctly in production. Go to Setup and then to Users and click Login next to the name of a user to log in as them. Then make sure you can see and do everything you expect. Here's a tip. If you don't see the login link next to your users' names, you might need to contact Salesforce support to enable this feature. It isn't always there, especially if you upgraded from Salesforce Professional Edition. Along the same lines, in Salesforce communities, logging in as an end user before go live is particularly critical. There are lots of permissions that need to be enabled to expose Salesforce data to the end users in a community. They are going to be drastically different than for any named Salesforce user and especially different than for a Salesforce administrator. So it is a best practice to open a new web browser or incognito mode and log in using credentials for one of your end users in the new community before you launch. This is the best way to make sure that everything is configured correctly and that your users have access to the data and functionality required in the community and no access to anything they shouldn't have. For an app like Chargent, you will need to install the app directly into production. Installed packages, what Salesforce App Exchange apps are, are not copied from Sandbox configurations. Chargent can be installed from our website using the Package Installation Manager, which selects the correct pieces of your Chargent setup. You can migrate configuration changes from your Sandbox to production using Salesforce change sets. Change sets are a convenient way to move configuration changes from one Salesforce org to another and only includes changes you make under the setup menu in Salesforce. No record data is included. Once you have installed Chargent in production and migrated the configuration from your Salesforce sandbox, it's time to test some more. Make sure you test with end users as described above, test some real life payments to make sure that part is set up correctly for Chargent and do a final run through any user requirements. And now check out this next video where you can see parts one and two of this series on Salesforce sandboxes. My name is Stacy, and at Chargent, we're dedicated to helping Salesforce customers like you keep your payments simple. And remember, we're always here to help.